Hi, my name is John and I'm from Mason and Smith. I run a shoe shine and shoe repair store in Singapore and today we are here to show you how to polish shoes. So first, we will remove the shoelace from this pair of shoes. Uh, this is a vast triple welted Budapest. And first, um, most of the time, after removing the shoe trees, um, after removing the shoelaces, we will put in the shoe trees. So what I'm going to do is quickly remove the shoelaces here. So we'll just keep the shoelaces neatly on the sides and then proceed to put in the shoe trees. Shoe trees help to absorb the moisture within the shoe and also help to prop up and straighten the vamp areas so as to allow you to easier clean these creases out. So firstly, we're going to use a white chamois cloth over here and then proceed to clean the shoes remove the superficial dirt from the, from the surface. Over here, we are using a boot black leather lotion. A tap of these over here on the surface. And we'll proceed to clean the shoe in a circular motion. You can see a lot of the dirt has already fallen out of the leather surface. Proceed to continue cleaning the surface with another new area. A little bit of the leather lotion apply across the entire areas of the shoe. Doing the same for the right shoe. A lot of the dirt has been removed from the surface. Next step in the shoe polishing process, we will proceed to put on creams on the surface. Usually, we will try to pick a matching color cream depending on the color of the shoe or whether you prefer the shoes to be darker or lighter. You can see that over here today we will use a mixture of both so that we can get a nice color on the front. Of course, you can use an applicator brush to apply the creams on the surface, but at Mason and Smith, we use we apply the cream to the shoe by hand. What we would do is rub the creams on the surface of the shoe in a circular motion across the heel areas, across the sides, across the vamp areas. If there are some areas of the shoe that you wish to darken, of course you can use a darker cream. Once done, we will use a horsehair brush to brush off the excess creams and waxes on the surface. As you can see, the surface of the leather has already a nice shine on the sides, a very soft finish because of the action between the brush and the creams. So we will do the same for the right shoe.
the reason why we are using hands instead of applicator brush is because by applying the creams on the surface of the leather with your hands, you are able to better penetrate into the surface, pushing the creams deeper into the pores of the leather. Work your way around the creases, along the toe areas, same as the other shoe. If there are some areas of the shoe that you wish to darken, you can apply a darker colour cream. Same thing with a horsehair brush. Brush it lightly to remove excess creams on the surface. So this is the process of creaming. As you can see on the surface of the shoe, there's a soft shine. <coughs> Next up, we will proceed to put on waxes on the surface of the shoe. So the waxes help to protect the leather. It, it forms a layer of wax on the surface and also because of aesthetic purpose, uh, some people who wish to have a nice shine at the front, uh, you can typically apply more waxes. What I'll do here is have put a little bit of wax on the tip of my finger, move in circular motion across the entire areas of the shoe and repeat the same thing across areas that I want a higher shine. Starting with the toe areas, I move in circular motion. Waxes on the back. Waxes along the map areas. Typically this process will last about 5 to 10 minutes depending on how shiny you want the shoes to be. Apply a little bit of waxes along the tongue areas. After shining the shoe, we will use a soft horsehair brush to brush lightly on the surface to remove excess waxes. Thereafter, we will proceed to wax the shoe with a combination of water, alcohol and waxes. This process helps to shine the shoe. Apply a little bit of wax on the surface. Apply a little bit of alcohol on the tip and spread the waxes around the shoe. Thereafter, a bit of water across.
continue to apply waxes on the front of the shoe if you want to bring it to a high shine and then a dab of water continue to move your hands in a circular motion One drop of water. I'll proceed to do the same for the right shoe. Finally, I will add on the last layer of finishing waxes. Now to give the shoe a little bit more dimension, I will use a slightly darker colour as compared to the leather surface. Just a little bit on the front. Just 
touch of the dark brown the sides and then finally finish off with some neutral waxes dark brown waxes a little bit on the front A little bit on the sides. Finally, finish off with some neutral waxes. Same thing for white chamois cloth. there you can see the front of the toe slightly shinier than the rest and now we will proceed to put on the shoelaces Finally, brush off the surface with a coat hair brush. Alright, and the shoe is done. Nice shine on the front, it's a little bit softer on the sides just a tad of shine on the hue.